Hey guys, we're excited to uh, be here and we're interviewing Michelle Sanchez, who is our new children's ministry director. So Michelle, just to help the congregation and those that'll be watching know a little bit about you, could you tell us a little bit about your church background and uh, if you were raised in church? Absolutely, I'd be happy to. So my, um, my background in church started way before I was even born through my grandmother and grandfather who established their roots and had a strong relationship with God. And I um, have benefited from their commitment to the Lord and was just raised in church from before I was born until now. And it has really um, made a difference in my life and my journey with the Lord. Um, to witness that. Good. Um, you wouldn't be in this position if you didn't feel called to children's ministry. So when do you think the call on your life began in involving children's ministry? Absolutely. I, um, I began serving in children's ministry as soon as I was too old to be a part of children's ministry. Um, it is just where I have always felt um, like I belonged. It's where I've always felt God has given me passion that burns in my heart um, for His kids. Um, so if I had to put an, an age on it, I think I was about 12 when um, they kicked me out and I became a part of ministering to His kids. So I, I realize that you've been here for a few years now. What, what brought you to Breezewood? So we became a part of the Breezewood family about three and a half years ago when my family and I were in a season of transition and um, I have a very dear friend who was a part of the Breezewood family who invited us to worship with them that Sunday morning and um, God had carved out the time we were available that morning and we came to worship and experience God and we were wrapped in his love that day when we came in um, these doors and we were so thankful we returned the Sunday after that and the one after that and since then you guys have been stuck with us. <laughs> well, I think we got a great end to that deal for sure. So I know that you have a vision and desires for children's ministry so where do you see children's ministry going in 2020? I have um, such a desire to see our kids grow in the Lord and um, for them to know God and have a relationship with God that is their very, very own, to have a passion for loving Him and serving Him, to know Him for themselves, not for the God that He is to their moms or dads or to their ministry leaders, but for them, for them, very, for themselves. And I have a desire to see them um, grow in Him in be used by Him and to be led by the Spirit and to be, to, to be able to hear His voice for themselves. And um, it's just really exciting to watch God move in their lives. Wonderful. Well, I know the answer to this, but I would like everybody else to hear it. In a lot of places, it seems that children's ministry is almost like a, either a playtime or a babysitting service. Uh, do you see that happening at Breezewood? Absolutely not, <laughs> not. It is such a privilege to be able to um, teach his kids more about his heart for them. And um, there is just no cap on, on what God does and who he uses. And his kids are a part of his plan for furthering his kingdom. And they are very much so um, being used by him and filled by him. And, um, and definitely not a babysitting service. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, listen, we're glad you took time to uh, check this uh, short video out. And we're excited about children's ministry in 2020 and even the remainder of 2019. God bless you. Thank you for watching.